Okay, so let's find the conserved quantity associated with the fact that the Lagrangian doesn't explicitly depend on time. So, there is, a, there is a, this, this object that's going to be equal to zero, but this object is, um, so we have a, a, a sum of terms Uh, we have a derivative of L with respect, uh, L is a function of Q and Q dot, so however many Qs uh, we have, we have DL by DQI terms, and then derivatives of those QIs in time. Plus, uh, we have that the Lagrangian depends on Q dot, and however many there are, we have terms like this, dl by dq dot times q double dot. And we summon all of the terms that we have. Uh, but of course, uh, this is true. Right, the Euler equations. Sorry, dl by dqi. And so we can uh, replace this term with this. And so we get dl by dt is equal to a sum of uh, d by dt of dl by d q i dot q i dot uh, and this same thing dl by d q i dot q i double dot uh, but this can be written as one overall term well, it's the sum of this one overall time derivative, uh, dl by d q dot i times q dot q dot i. Uh, and of course, so we have this is equal to this. And so we can say that d by dt of L minus the thing here that we that we have in parentheses or, or um, regular parentheses, not square brackets, um, minus the sum I of dl by d q i dot q i dot that is equal to zero and so uh, we can say that l minus this quantity is some constant. It's the quantity that is constant in time. Um, and we'll label this um, H or, or minus H. Uh, 